we're going to be unboxing a Huawei device today on the studio. And not only that, stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to be advising you guys on whether or not to buy a Huawei device. So let's get started. This is the Huawei P30 Lite new edition. Is it really new? This phone might not really be new to the Huawei global market, but it's new to the Kenyan market. And we're going to be unboxing this thanks to the guys over at Huawei and the guys over at Mobile Hub Kenya. And let's just see what this device packs. We've got the phone, let's just put this aside. Let's just see whatever we have here. Well, we've got the SIM card ejector tool. We've got a quick start guide, manual. At least they give you a free case together with that. This is the new Huawei quick charge adapter. Gives you 18 watts. We've got the USB type C. At least inside here, they also give you some headphones. So this is what you get inside the box of the device. So this is the Huawei P30 Lite. It has 6.1 inch screen. They still retain the notch up here on top. I don't really like notches, but well, up here they have the earpiece grill. Then you've got the microphone, the speaker grill, the USB type C, and the headphone jack. It's amazing in 2019 to see a phone that still retains the headphone jack, but that's very good of Huawei. So let's just go ahead and remove this plastic. It's amazing. This color is what Huawei calls peacock blue. Looks very nice. It's more of a bluish gradient. You have light blues on top and dark blues down here. You have your three cameras here, the triple camera setup, the, the main, the wide and the telephoto. Looks very nice. So this is how your new P30 Lite will look after you set it all up. Looks uh, very nice. I like the display. It, it, it might be an LCD display. I'm more used to OLED displays, but the LCD on this is good. The back though, I tell you, is a fingerprint magnet. It smudges. I don't like that. So most probably you're going to need to get a case for this one. And the camera bump is a bit raised. It would really be a disadvantage to you if you're working on it on a flat surface because it makes it a wobble. But well, that's something you can avoid. So let's talk about the specs of the Huawei P30 Lite. It comes with 6GB of RAM. So they increased RAM from the previous 4GB that was in the market. It comes with 128GB of storage. You can save all your things, which is the base storage on 2019 devices. It runs on Android 9 and the Kirin 710 chip which is good for middle range phones it well pretty much manages your data well processes your images well processes your information well it comes with a triple array set for the 848 megapixel primary sensor the 8 megapixel ultra wide and the 2 megapixel depth sensor and this is a very nice phone however there are better phones out there but let's not just quickly dismiss it let's see how it does on the camera test so let's test out the cameras. We're going to begin with one photo just right in the studio to test out how it would do in well, minimal lighting condition. This is good. So these are some of the pictures we took on the Huawei P30 Lite new edition. As you can see, we were outside. The flower shots look very nice, though Huawei tends to oversaturate them a little bit and increase the contrast makes them a bit look look unrealistic but the flowers look very nice themselves uh we are out here on some rooftop this is the 0.5 zoom of the ultra wide the primary 
and the 2x telephoto and as you begin to look at these pictures you begin to realize that they begin to lose some clarity and attention to detail and uh, image quality as you move from the three different modes as you can see when you look at the skyline on these pictures it makes them look so blue this is not how the sky looks so the ai makes it look blue to an extent of looking unrealistic but when you begin to focus on selfies or personal images or portraits of human beings it tends to make them look nice it it balances through the ai to make to give you a better feel or look of pictures that you take of yourself or of people so it does well in the selfie department or pictures of oneself but on the other hand when you're beginning to take images of uh of things it saturates them a little bit to make them uh give to give it that huawei feel and as you begin to see when you when you when you go through the three different modes it loses some level of clarity on them this is a photo we took of a fence when you look at the first image which is the primary it looks very nice when you go to the ultra wide it increases the contrast and the saturation and you're wondering these are two different pictures from two different devices but this from one device standing at the same spot but when you try and take portrait or the focus on this camera when you're taking pictures of individual things when it catches the focus it takes nice pictures it blasts out the background to an extent making it look nice so these are nice uh, pictures to take from this camera but when you go to the night mode as you can see on this picture, you can almost see nothing on the first picture. That is uh, night, night, night side, or that is pictures that are taken at night. This is the second picture we took with the flash. It kind of improves it. This is a picture we took of a subject that had a bit of light in itself. So when you're talking about low light photography on the Huawei P30 Lite, uh, it does not do a good job. But during daytime, it takes very nice pictures if you can deal with the oversaturation well that's it for you but i don't like oversaturated images so the huawei p30 lite new edition what are my final thoughts i think the 6gb that they vamped up from the 4gb really helps though i'd like to see better ram management on the huawei phone the cameras are very nice the 48 megapixel triple camera does very well though there are some shots that in which it really struggles and but we got this on the AI. When you're taking photos of oneself, the AI computes it to give you better photos. So I think they max out more on the AI more than the sensor itself. So when you're taking photos of nature or scenic photos, it kind of oversaturates them. But when you take portrait shots, it uh, computes it itself to give you better photos of yourself. So this is more of a phone for those people who like taking photos of themselves or of animals. Because the oversaturation on uh, wide angle shots does not really good well. It's it's three modes: the two X, the wide, and the and the ultra wide. As you're switching between those three modes, you will see that it changes quality in each and every image. So they really have to work uh, a, a lot in making sure that the quality of the three different cameras that they put in helps you to get better photos. Though the depth sensing works well in portraits in, in portrait mode. However, the Kirin 710 works very well for a mid-range phone. Helps you, uh, you really notice it's very fast, its speed is well, works together in all the essentials in the phone. The 128 GB of storage helps you to store in your things. So overall, for 28,000, this phone is really good. However, you are away. Uh, for this price range, why should you not put in an optical in-display fingerprint scan? Because if a 25,000 Kenyan shilling phone can have one, why should you not have one for 28,500? So I'd like to see how you guys think about that. So you guys tell me, would you consider buying the Huawei P30 Lite after this video or after testing it out for yourself? Follow me on Instagram and on Facebook and on Twitter to see some of the pictures that I post from this device and you tell me what you guys think. However, I'll say this as we wrap this video up. The Huawei and Trump situation, should that really worry you? I think it should, but I don't think uh, this is gonna be ensued for long because I think uh, a merger will come in or something will come in and Huawei will be able to access Google services after all, because now they only have the ability to access Android, but they can't access Google services. But let's see how this war enrages. 
and I'll keep you posted. So follow us, subscribe to the channel, and I'll keep you posted about what is happening between Trump and Huawei, and let's see how this battle will end up. So that's a wrap from us guys at TechEd, and catch you guys in the next one.